So I received this question, a very simple question, how to look within. And I'm not sure what is the best way to answer this because just the question of how to look at anything seems to be self-explanatory. How do you look at something? Or rather, how do you explain to someone how to look? Either you look or you don't look or you look but you don't see for whatever the reason. So perhaps it's more a question of why don't you look or what might be obstructing your ability to see. So if I say, look at this tree, you don't ask how to look at it. Either you look or you don't. But perhaps you're trying to look at it, but you don't see it because there's some obstruction, there's a fence or a wall between you and the tree. So even if I tell you there's a tree, you don't see it, you only see the wall. So this question of how to look within, perhaps it's more of a question of what is preventing you from looking. When it comes to introspection, to looking within oneself, often there's some kind of resistance. There's something there that's uncomfortable or unsettling or disturbing, and naturally we don't want to experience that, so we avert our attention away from it. We avoid looking at it. We don't want to look at it. We don't want to see it. So if there is some kind of negative emotion lurking beneath the surface, for example, it can be very difficult to look at it because it's so uncomfortable. To look at it would mean having to feel and experience that discomfort, and we don't want to do that. And this may be the most common obstruction to looking within oneself, that there may be some unsettling emotion or something of that nature. Or there may be a whole host of unsettling thoughts and emotions in there, all kinds of disturbing things that we would rather not face. And so if we want to turn our attention within, then it has to start with a willingness to face these things, to face it and to look at it, to feel and experience it. And that can be very scary, but that fear also has to be faced. And that requires a certain amount of courage. Often we think that courage means to be without fear, but actually courage means to do something in spite of the fear. So the fear is there, but we don't allow it to prevent us from taking action, or in this case, from looking within. Courage essentially means to face one's fear, to go into it, to move through it. And that can be a very scary thing, so naturally we tend to avoid it, we resist it. And the best that I can do to offer some encouragement is to say that whenever I've had some fear in regard to anything, when I face it and go into it and I move through it and come out the other side, what I often find is that it has no validity. It was just imaginary, illusory, that it tends to have no reality outside of the imagination. So if I was afraid to do something or to look at something within myself, but I do it anyway and I go through with it, when I get to the other side of it, I look back and I say to myself, what was I so afraid of? There wasn't really anything there to be afraid of. It was all in my imagination. Perhaps it wasn't as bad as I had imagined or perhaps it wasn't bad at all. Sometimes I find that there was absolutely nothing to be afraid of, that actually everything turns out unexpectedly pleasant, better than I would have imagined, and I'm grateful that I faced it and went through with it because otherwise I would not have had that particular insight or that experience, and so it often turns out to be a very enlightening experience. So hopefully that can be encouraging to hear that. But of course, for you to actually know that for yourself, not just to believe it because I'm saying it, for you to actually know it, to see for yourself, you have to face your own fear, your own discomfort, your own unsettling thoughts and feelings, whatever it is in you that you're avoiding. But if you're willing to do that, you might find, just as I have found, that on the other side of it, looking back, there was really nothing to fear in the first place. 
So this whole question of how to look within, it's not really a matter of how to look. It's really a matter of whether or not to look. And you have to make that choice all on your own. Either you continue avoiding it or you face it. If you find value in this content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.